Hey everyone, welcome back to Chill Ill Trades. Thanks for coming by the channel today. If it's your first time, welcome. If you're back again, appreciate it so much. Here we kind of cover everything happening in the market, both the stock market and the cryptocurrencies, um, and kind of see both on a fundamental and technical level why things are happening, the reason they are. Uh, so if you like anything from the video, please comment and subscribe. Um, and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are about the crypto market and if you think we're finding a bottom or if there's more pain to come. Uh, so as I tie the video, I think there's one really big um, technical and charting thing um, thing that people aren't looking at to why altcoins are moving lower than Bitcoin right now. So what I have on the graph is showing the percentage change between Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. And what we see in kind of the relationship when we look back at the beginning of 2021, and the end of 2020, um, we see that Bitcoin, basically the altcoins and and Bitcoin were about at the same percentage price percentage point in price change. But obviously, we had altcoin season start in about around January ish, um, and we just saw basically all the altcoin space move much more violently to the upside um, than we saw Bitcoin, and that's what we're starting to see in this chart when we move forward. When we come here, what we're seeing, actually, maybe my little thing, whatever. Um, and so what we see here is the red line is Ethereum the, or Cardano. The blue line is Ethereum. Sorry, when I moved my camera, it messed up all my little things. Um, and the and the little green, like the regular charting, is Bitcoin. And so what we're seeing on this pullback. Is look how much how much Cardona Cardano sorry, and Ethereum's price percentage growth is still above Bitcoin. I think this is the main re reason why we're seeing altcoins sell off so much more. The last few weeks is they were all together before the runs happened when Bitcoin, you know, on this little red mark here is when Bitcoin hit the 50k range. Here is where Cardona um, Cardano hit the high, and here's where Ethereum hit the high. And what I think what we need to see is we need to see these prices merge back together on a percentage growth ratio. And so that leads me to my next graph I want to show with you, which is the relationship between Bitcoin and Cardano. So what we see here is recently, um, basically what this means is Bitcoin divided by ADA. And so when the chart is higher, when Bitcoin's growth is larger than Ethereum or Cardano's growth. Um, when we see the graph at a really low, it means Cardano moved much higher on a percentage basis than Bitcoin did, or on a price basis than Bitcoin did. And so what we're seeing right now is that we're testing all-time lows on this ratio. So that really, this is, I think, the main thing that people need to start looking at to figure out where the bottom is in altcoins. If we see this break all-time low, what that tells me is the perspective on cryptocurrency has changed for the market and people are starting to look at altcoins as an equivalent investment to Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin still trumps in the market, but we're starting to see altcoins gain more popularity and we see this in this relationship testing all time lows. So if we test all time lows and we break even lower, then I think we still have an opportunity for altcoins to bottom out before Bitcoin. But if we if this chart needs to hold its historical lows and we don't see this this chart break down even further this is telling me that bitcoin is still the hero in the crypto space and that means bitcoin's going to have to the altcoins are going to have to catch up to the performance of bitcoin to the downside which would mean that this chart starts moving up more when we look at the ethereum chart we see a similar uh, a similar thing where we see Ethereum to the Bitcoin relationship, so Bitcoin divided by Ethereum, also testing all-time lows. So this is a really important. This is really important that we're seeing this, and we do this for any other altcoin. It could be Dogecoin. It could be um, um, Poly. It could be anything that you like. This is the same relationship I'm seeing on every chart, and this is something I'm not seeing anybody talk about. And I think this is the most important reason why we're seeing the action right now. Um, I've been calling it out. I made a couple a video a couple weeks ago kind of detailing this, but I wanted to dive into it more about how on the pullback, Bitcoin is pulled back way more than 
any other than the rest of the altcoins have the more popular altcoins i should say and so i think these are the four scenarios that i'm kind of putting together in terms of what's happening next in the crypto space and i would love to hear your thoughts in the in the in the comments let me know which of these four scenarios you think is going to happen or if you think there's an alternate scenario that i'm not seeing that's going to happen so the first one i want to talk about is that altcoins will become more domi dominant than bitcoin which will lead to them finding a bottom before Bitcoin does and the ratio finds new lows. And so I think this, the graph we're seeing right now, Bitcoin divided by Ethereum, if this breaks all time lows and goes even further, this first scenario is telling us a lot about how the crypto space is changing. Um, that bit, that altcoins are gonna find more popularity as more of them are existing on the market. There's one Bitcoin, there's many altcoins. And so we're going to start seeing popularity taken away from Bitcoin and going towards the, the altcoin market. And that's what we're going to see this relationship change in this ratio and prices. The second scenario is that Bitcoin breaks below 30K and altcoins, altcoins fall by a bigger percentage. And so when we go back to the other graph, this is what I'm telling here is in order for the relationship on the last graph to start heading up more up, Bitcoin has to has to fall by less than altcoins do and that's going to create that's going to make this chart move back to the upside. Bitcoin finds a bottom but or Bitcoin decreases but altcoins decrease by a larger a larger amount that means this relationship is going to start moving back upwards which is keeping the healthy dynamic in the relationship of the crypto space. The third scenario is alt season's over. You know, some people thought it was the middle of the alt season on pullback, but maybe alt season's over, which leads to Bitcoin moving higher while altcoin season consolidates at the bottom. So this again comes back to this relationship. And if this is the case, what we should see as well is if Bitcoin starts moving higher, but altcoins go sideways, this again will repair the relationship and we'll see upward momentum. The fourth scenario is Bitcoin starts moving higher while altcoins alt move higher at a smaller rate. And so again, this would also repair the relationship of this chart of Bitcoin, Bitcoin compared to Ethereum or Bitcoin, whatever your favorite altcoin is. Um, and yes, I'm defining Ethereum as, as an altcoin. Don't hate on me. Um, and so again, we'll see a, a repair of this relationship in this ratio and we'll start seeing this move back to the upside. Um, so that's just, I wanted to cover this video really quickly. I know I talked about a lot of technical things very quickly, but I really want to know what you think. Do you think any of these scenarios are going to happen? Do you think something else in the crypto space is going to unwind? Um, please let me know your thoughts. Thanks for stopping by. If you found this video interesting, please like, please subscribe to the page, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.